Welcome to Holly Sniper EFI Training Part 25. This training module, we're gonna take a look at the basic nitrous control we have for programming found within our Sniper system. Without further wait, let's jump in so we can check this out. Okay, so let's get started. We're gonna be taking a look at working with our basic nitrous control and tuning within our Holly Sniper EFI system. We have the capability to do both a basic on-off nitrous control or a progressive style nitrous control. We're gonna break down how the basic on-off nitrous control works for both a wet and a dry shot of nitrous in this tutorial. We'll find that we have the ability to turn the nitrous on and off under specific conditions so that we have it coming on, let's say, a below peak torque or around peak torque and being able to turn off the nitrous RPM wise before we hit rev limiter. We can also turn it on based on throttle position. So we have ability to turn the nitrous on turn the nitrous off so we have safe running conditions. We also have the capability to offset our fuel and spark timing when we're spraying our nitrous here in the virtual programming through the sniper. We're going to take a look at some of the basic setup configuration details and then talk about programming details for both our wet and dry shots of nitrous in this basic on-off format. The next tutorial, we'll be exploring the nitrous control a little bit further, talking about the progressive control and how it varies a little bit from our on-off control. We have a lot greater control with the progressive but it does require a solid state relay and a little bit more uh, programming within the Holly. Again, separate tutorial. Let's focus here on the basic on off um, control with the nitrous. So what I'm gonna do here is move up into my toolbox and I'm gonna go here to enable nitrous, which is gonna allow me to turn on the nitrous feature and sort of take a look at some of the programming. I'm gonna click yes here and I'm gonna go ahead and grab my default blank dot nitrous, which brings in that ICF. So if I jump in here to our nitrous ICF, what we'll find is that we have this stage one setup. We only have the capability to do one stage of nitrous control. Now with the Terminator X and the HP and Dominator systems from Holly, we have multiple stages of nitrous control. We only have a single stage here with our, uh, our sniper system, which is fine. That's gonna give us enough to be able to do most basic streetcar applications with our nitrous control. So what, what I wanna go and talk about here before we move into the programming language in our windows here, I wanna talk about the importance of making sure that you've dialed in your fuel and spark timing before you're turning on your nitrous control. So what we'll find here is that when we're spraying our nitrous, let's assume that we have a dry kit. We're gonna be bringing the nitrous into the engine. The Holly then will have to add additional fuel flow through the port fuel injectors that are mounted in the sniper assembly. And then we're also gonna to have to retard the spark timing to make sure that we don't have knock occur because of our cylinder pressure rise. So we need to offset both the fuel and spark timing, and we need to offset the fuel and spark timing against whatever is coming from our normal fuel table here and our normal spark timing here that characterizes and tunes the engine, whether it's naturally aspirated or force induction. So we have to make sure we have 100% dialed our engine in. Let's say it's naturally aspirated, cam, bolt-ons. Uh, we've dialed everything in here. And let's assume the spark timing we've commanded here at wide open throttle when we're naturally aspirated is 32 degrees. Let's say that's where the engine made good power. Everything was, was safe there and uh, the engine runs well. Now with nitrous, we're gonna have to pull timing away from this. If we haven't yet dialed our base spark timing in, then if we're offsetting our spark timing when nitrous is spraying, it may not be correct. Now likewise with our fuel here as well. If we're not using a wet shot of nitrous and we're using a dry shot, so we're just spraying the nitrous only, and not spraying fuel and nitrous when we have our external jets. In the dry setup, we'd have to add fuel above and beyond whatever the engine needs and requirements for fuel when it's naturally aspirated or force induction. So when we introduce the nitrous, we're adding fuel on top of whatever's being calculated here. We need to make sure that the base table that the pulse width is coming from, the fuel flow that we're delivering to the engine, we need to make sure that these values are correct so that when we're spraying our nitrous and adding fuel on top of these values, it, everything will be consistent and repeatable and dialed in. So very, very important, you can't spray nitrous until you fully tuned everything without the nitrous actually being on and spraying. So let's jump back in here to our programming and talk about a few things. So up at the top, we have our activate option. Uh, this turns the feature on and off. We have a disable, this virtually turns it on and off. That's pretty straightforward. The nitrous type allows in the drop-down menu here for us to tell the sniper system what 
type of nitrous it's going to be controlling, or what type of kit it's going to be working with. There's wet non-progressive, wet progressive, dry non-progressive, and dry progressive. What we're going to be covering here is the wet non-progressive and the dry non-progressive. This is just the basic on-off nitrous control. So this is standard streetcar street stuff. Uh, we're maybe running a 50 or 100 shot of nitrous. We just want to be able to have that nitrous spray, keep the engine safe. We're not looking to do anything uh, fancy with the power management, which is what the progressive here is going to allow you to do. So this tells the Holly what to expect in terms of the control strategy. What we're going to do is first talk about the wet non-progressive because this assumes that you're spraying fuel and nitrous through external jets into the engine and we don't need to worry about fuel flow being pumped through the port. Thanks for checking out our teaser clip. If you want to see the rest of this video and more than 500 hours of current EFI training we have to offer, make sure you click right here. If you want to go and check out more teaser clips from this training course, click here and you don't want to miss any of the videos we're going to be releasing on this channel, so make sure you subscribe and click here. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys later.